to do this question, you'll be at a huge advantage if you remember the formula. Total energy of an orbiting satellite is negative half gmm over r. Gp is of course negative gmm over r, so the total energy is actually half of your GPE. So I repeat, uh, the total energy of an orbiting satellite is actually equals to half its GPE. So if the satellite is having a GP of negative 3.2 megajoules, we can actually tell straight away that this satellite's total energy is negative 1.6 megajoules because total energy is half of your GPE. So if you have another identical satellite, that means they have the same mass, huh? uh, but at a, orbiting at a further distance, 2R. Okay, so you have now doubled the distance. Uh, the orbital radius. So your new GPE should be negative 1.6 megajoules because you have just doubled R. Alright, so you used to be negative 3. Point, negative 3.2. If you double R, your GPE now should be negative 1.6 megajoules. Remember, total energy is half of your GPE. So half of negative 1.6 will be negative 0.8. So that's the answer. Okay, ta-ta!